Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the real United States. We're going to do something a little different today. I've got some footage here that was taken from a windshield mount camera, and it's something a little grittier than we usually do. You'll see here on the right is Union Market. This is a large marketplace with a number of restaurants and stores, shops inside on the east side of Washington, D.C. Uh, not far from Gallaudet University, actually, it's just across the street from Gallaudet. And this area that you're seeing here now is actually about a six city block area that contains the majority of the wholesale distributors in Washington, D.C. So it's not the sort of views that you normally see from Washington with the monuments and the government buildings and the big elaborate sort of architecture and the things that you might picture with our national capital. But obviously there are a lot of goods and services that are distributed and sold throughout the city and shops and restaurants and whatnot. And this is where they come from. And now this looks sort of like it might be a tough neighborhood, but in fact, it's, it's really not. It's just an industrial area uh, strictly for the staging and distribution of products from, well, all over the world, actually. And you'll notice that there are a number of different things like different languages, that there are Asian importers and that there are South American importers and sorts of things like that. And so that there's just about every language you can imagine is actually represented here. Uh, there's, e there's even some Arabic signs down here. So pretty much every ethnicity, every nationality, is represented in the in the goods and services and and everything is sold here from food products to hard goods and clothing and in fact right where we're, we're pulling up here now is a, uh, a clothing distributor so if you've ever been to DC and, and bought a souvenir a shirt or a towel or a baseball cap or something it may have come from this facility right here so again this is shot on a Sunday so not a lot of traffic, which uh, which made it very nice for us. Although it's it's not quite as, as active, it did make the shooting a lot easier. Now we made a couple of rounds around here uh, and mounted the camera angled off to one side and then the other. This is, we're coming around for a second pass here to show you some of the things that are that are on the other side and there's you can see the wholesale signs there there's uh it's too much here to, to really go into detail about each individual business and, and it wouldn't be really of that much interest i suppose if i did but i wanted to give you some idea of the magnitude of the the distribution area for dc dc itself is about 100 square miles or was at the time that it was built uh, a section of the southwestern side of course was seated back to the state of Virginia, but still not a terribly large geographic area. And yet all of this is dedicated to just the goods and services that are distributed there. There are about 601,000 people that live in uh, Washington, DC, but about a million and a half people are there on any given day because of the people that come into the city to work. So an enormous number of products pass through this distribution center every day and certainly how we're hoping to get down here someday early in the morning to see some of the restaurant tours maybe going to the fish markets or meat markets or something but for right now we just wanted to give you a view of the distribution wholesale area in the city of Washington DC so we hope you've enjoyed this more gritty side of the United States and uh, Washington DC we hope you'll pick subscribe and join us for future episodes if you haven't done so already if you got questions or comments Please leave them in the comments section below. We love hearing from all of you. We try to get back to all of you as soon as we possibly can. And as always, thank you for watching.